You're watching the Wellness Hour, news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, replacing missing teeth with dental implants. According to my first guest, he says nobody should be wearing a loose-fitting denture. With us, we have an expert on the topic, Dr. Calderon. Dr. Calderon, welcome to the program. Hey, everybody. Hi. How are you doing? That? Now, before we get into today's topic, and I know you brought a lot of photos, so we'll get to those. Uh, but first, for people that don't know your practice, I mean, who's your typical patient that's coming in for dental implants? Uh, Typical patient that comes in, it's usually missing one, two, or three teeth. And then eventually we lead into full dentures. Okay. But it's, it's, it's exciting to do this. The second group of uh, people are the ones that are losing their teeth. They're bleeding when they brush. They, uh, their teeth are separating as, you know, as they speak or they wiggle when they're chewing food. They can't chew into pizza, a cheeseburger. They can't chew gum. And uh, they don't realize what's going on. So they come to us to find out what we can do. And the beautiful part about this is that we can save everything just by placing implants. We, there's so much that you can do for these patients, just educating them and how to take care of them and then eventually get into implants so you can avoid the dentures. Is it like a third set of teeth? A third set of teeth, I wouldn't put it that way, no. Um, you know, it, it's the next, uh, next best thing to, to nature. You know, you, you need to have something that you can chew and feel and chew your own food, a crouton, a piece of lettuce, a cheeseburger, an apple. So that's what you need to, uh, to bring back their life, their quality of life is what we need to do. Now the denture wearers, and we've talked a lot about this, you say you can help them the most, but it's tough to get them in. You know, denture wearers, they're, they're funny because um, they, they haven't been in the system, or basically they haven't been going to the dentist because they're wearing dentures already. They feel, I have no teeth, so I don't need to go to the dentist anymore. And it's a shame because some dentists, I'm sorry, some patients, some patients feel, just take out my teeth, you know, I don't want to worry about uh, teeth anymore, just give me a denture. But then they don't realize. They don't realize that when they're chewing on a lettuce or when they're eating at a restaurant, they have to step away and go to the bathroom and rinse out because they have food underneath that denture. It's uncomfortable to eat with a poppy seed. I want you to imagine this. Okay. You're walking around with shoes, tight shoes, okay, like a dentist, tight and snug. But then all of a sudden you get a poppy seed or you have a peanut in your shoe. Don't, doesn't that feel uncomfortable after yeah, a while? Yeah. yeah. So what do you do? You go to the bathroom, you take off your shoe, you take out the piece of uh, lettuce or whatever. Oh, well, not lettuce, a peanut that's in there. Yeah. And you throw it out. Same thing with dentures, except, you know, it's your teeth, okay? So you don't want to do, go in there and remove a denture in your bathroom, have everybody watch you. When you can have permanent teeth, have implants placed, and today, four or five implants, a permanent bridge, you know, you're, you're something that you wake up with, you brush your teeth, you take care of your smile. So it's like getting your smile. teeth back. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, but it's just rejuvenating. Rejuvenating. So are there a lot of denture wearers, like where you are? <laughs> you don't understand. People that are wearing dentures, they're, they're all over the place, you know, and the, the state alone, you know, over a million people have dentures and okay. partial dentures, removable dentures. They walk by the office and sometimes they just avoid the office because they're embarrassed or they believe they can't afford the implantology. Uh, but today, everything's so easily done. We could just do everything and make people happy. Now, here's another one. So for the denture, if everything works out right, I mean, literally on the day of the procedure, they can walk in with no teeth and walk out with brand new set of teeth. Yes. Is that right? Yes. How yeah. soon can they eat also? You know, they can question. eat right away. What happens is, you know, they come in one afternoon. Normally I like to do this in the morning. That's when we're all fresh and easy and everybody's happy. Uh, what we do is we start the procedures that same day and the, that evening or that afternoon, they walk out four hours later with their teeth. And of course they're gonna be a little numb, but they're, they're eating and enjoying their food by the next day with no problem at all. Okay, no good. downtime. Now you're a general dentist, but your focus is implant dentistry. Yes, I'm a general dentist and what I wanted to do was make sure that um, I was covering every, every realm, every, every part of general dentistry. And implantology became very important, uh, especially because of the denture wearers today. You know, I have a great, a great example, my mom and dad. You know, uh, mom and dad, they're no longer with us, uh, but what mom and dad did was mom and dad, they got implants done 20 years ago when I was first learning. Okay. And then uh, dad got most of his implants, all of his implants. He was a denture wearer, both mom and dad. So your, your mother, your, your father wore a denture? They both wore dentures. And you know, I remember them taking their dentures out in the morning. I remember them putting it in their glass. Another funny story is I, I remember, this is gonna be kind of disgusting, but okay. you know what? I, you know, you go to the bathroom at night and you kind of drink water. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't realize I would grab the cup of water and I almost drank it. It was my father's denture in there. Okay. So, okay. you know, you don't want to do this now. Now with permanent bridges, you don't have to go through that embarrassment. But what happened was with mom and dad, uh, you know, they, 
dad was able to chew everything all the way to the end. What we did was gave him a whole brand new smile, top and bottom. He was able to chew, eat, uh, anything he wanted. And nice. you know, when, you, when you're watching somebody who's 75, 80 years old, eat away at a steak, an apple, anything they want, that's, that's the feeling you can't get over. Now, mom, on the other hand, she was afraid of getting implants. And what happens is that a lot of people you don't- You couldn't talk her into it. No, we couldn't talk her into it, but what, you know, she was 60 years old at the time, and, and what happens is that uh, people don't realize, they don't realize that you know, your health can change dramatically. And I witnessed this with my mother. Because of her physical health, uh, we were not allowed to place implants on her five years afterwards that we offered it to her. And what happened now was mom was stuck with dentures, removable dentures, top and bottom. So towards the end, we realized dad was able to chew and eat anything with his full dentures, his beautiful smile, even though dad was going through dementia, but he was able to eat anything. And mom, who was really, you know, with all the wits, unfortunately, she had to liquefy her food. You know, she couldn't wear her dentures anymore. She, you know, everything was irritating. Her physical abilities were going. Um, and, you know, because she couldn't wear, she had removable dentures, she couldn't eat well. So you don't like dentures at all? Not at all. Do you I, think I, that's a future of the dentistry? I, like, there'll be, the way dentures are today, where they're not attached to anything. Do you think maybe 20 years, 50 years, they'll all be attached to implants? Yeah, they'll like all, teeth? definitely, because what's gonna happen is that people are getting more educated about implants, and, and when they get more educated about implants, they understand the quality of life they'll have. And uh, it's, it's, you know, look, I'm getting chills right now <laughs> because I remember, I remember mom and dad and I can, I only express this when you see me and, and I tell you that you need to get implants to keep your quality of life going. And tell me this, I mean, if implants are so good, right? And if you say there's, you know, maybe a million people with an upper lower denture in the state of New York, why aren't they all doing it? I mean, what's your take? I think that uh, once they're wearing dentures, like I mentioned before, they, they are, believe they don't need to do, see the dentist anymore. And when they don't see the dentist anymore, no one's educating them. So they don't know their options? They don't know their options. They don't realize that just with a few implants and a permanent bridge, they have their quality of life back again. The other drawback is this, is that when they're 60 years old, they believe they don't need anything anymore. And that's such a fallacy because uh, when they're 30 or 35 and they're starting to lose teeth, uh, they realize because they're smiling and you only see your front teeth, the back teeth doesn't matter, which that's not true. So yeah. people, and we talked about this in the green room, people like with missing teeth in the back that don't show, these are people that are gonna probably end up in dentures. Well, yeah, definitely. They do nothing about it. Definitely, because- and you could just fill in the holes with implants. Well, what happens at the beginning, yes, I'm sorry for interrupting sorry, you. Sorry, no, I've been interrupting you. No, no, ahead. no, but what happens, uh, you know, when you start losing teeth in the back, most young people, either because of finances or any other reason or fear, uh, they don't want to do the implants. And eventually it leads to just chewing on your front teeth. And when you're just chewing on your front teeth, our front teeth are not made to chew for the rest of our lives, our back teeth are. So we replace the back teeth and we stabilize the, our bite, we call it in dentistry. Okay. But um, what happens is if you lose your back teeth, eventually you're gonna lose your front teeth, you lose your front teeth, you go into dentures, and then you go into dentures, you lose your health. Okay. Okay, so we want everybody to get into implants, and I try to educate all my patients that way. Um, there's, 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 I'm just trying to get the word out. <laughs> Randy, you asked beforehand, uh, why aren't more people coming in to get implants done and avoid their dentures? Uh, you have to realize when somebody's 60 years old, they've gone through uh, root canals, they've gone through periodontal treatment, they've gone from general dentist to specialists all around their whole life. So all they have in their mind is fear. Fear. So it's hard uh, to get them in? Oh, yeah, 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 that, definitely. These denture wearers. The denture wearers are hard to get in because they've already gone through a lot of negative experiences. And today, as a general dentist today, I, I'm able to give them what they need from start to finish in one afternoon. They don't have to go anywhere else. We can deliver everything in one afternoon. Now, now we should mention this, and, and people didn't know, I'm not trying to side with you okay. uh, or endorse you, I'm just asking the questions, but I guess how dental implants are normally done is you go to one place that does the surgery, you go to another doctor that puts the teeth on top and then maybe somewhere else for the imaging. You do it all right there. What's the advantage, aside from convenience? The benefit of coming to the general dentist or coming to me to do this all at once or without being referred to specialists is convenience. Okay, okay. you don't have to travel from place to place. Uh, the next thing is, you know, I like to carry things from the surgical phase to the prosthetic phase so that if anything goes wrong, I know that I did it. Okay. Okay. I don't point fingers to anyone. You're not like when you're doing construction work. It was the electrician. It was the plumber. It was somebody else that did something wrong. Okay. It was never you, but I know it's always me. So patients always come back to me and I can always take care of them that way. Do you think it's a little bit cheaper? 
being able to do it with one guy? Well, definitely, because I can also, you know, I can make it inexpensive for them. Uh, I can definitely make it better because every, every specialist is going to charge their own fee. So when they do that, if you go from one person to the next, it's just going to be a lot more expensive. I can handle everything at once and bundle everything into one price and everything becomes inexpensive for them. Where I am in New York City, uh, what happens is, you know, we have great oral surgeons, we have great specialists, periodontists, endodontists, but there are times that we definitely refer to them because you know, there's some things I just can't handle. And okay. part of being uh, certified as a diplomat in implantology from the American Academy of Implant Dentistry is that we know our limitations. Okay, and so good, when we're limited, good. we have to send it out to an old surgeon. Good. Now we should mention that there is no recognized board certification for dental implant dentistry in your state. You are though board certified by the American Board of American, Implant right. Dentistry, which is recognized here in California where we're taping this as a recognized board certification. So this is all you do. Do you have a bit of a bias? Like if you're gonna do this, go to a board certified guy or go to a guy that's been through this ABOI training? You know, the, AB, the ABOI training, it's, it's very, it's, it's, it's complicated. Uh, not complicated, but it's very intense. And okay. so anybody who gets certified through the ABOI, American Academy of Implant Dentistry, guaranteed they have a lot of knowledge in what we're doing and what you're doing. Uh, so you have to be careful in who you go to. You really need to go to okay. someone who's been educated properly. And that's through the American Academy of Implant Dentistry, ABOI. How old can you be to get, uh, like, like a denture is walk, watching this or somebody with really bad teeth that they need a, a full mouth of extractions? What's the age limit for implants? Oh, there is no age limit. Uh, you know, like in other words, I had a 92-year-old patient come in the other day because they were missing one tooth. Uh, if they want to get a full denture done, there was like an 82-year-old patient that came in. And it all depends on the individual because... You know, at 82 today, you're still walking, you're dancing, yeah, you're yeah. laughing. It's not like it was 30 years ago, 50 years ago, when people were just having a cup of coffee and tea. Today, people are enjoying themselves. So it's, it's really, really, uh, really nice. I have this 82-year-old patient, and what happened was that she had a denture for 30 years. She went to a few doctors, and everybody either said that she didn't have enough bone. You know, in her country, they were saying she was too old, but she's not too old. 82 years old is a perfect age. Is that young in your office? Oh, yes, definitely. Okay. <laughs> definitely. What happens when we give them a per permanent teeth and a permanent smile, they can chew and eat anything they want. Instead of sitting uh, you know, at home and embarrassed about wearing dentures or going out, they're laughing out loud. Laughing out loud, as they say in uh, AOL. Yeah, 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 yeah. LOL. <laughs> yeah. But what happens is, uh, you know, once they have this, these permanent smiles and these permanent teeth, life changes. She came in, uh, she didn't have, really have makeup on, and now she had lipstick on. She was going on 82 years old, and she's dancing her life. But isn't it true if you've been wearing dentures for like 20 years? Not enough bone to do this. That's not true. Um, a lot of times what happens, patients will go to different doctors and it's unfortunate that a lot of the doctors don't have the knowledge or the equipment to do this. And so what we do at our office, uh, we do the CAT scans and we evaluate everyone, but people at the age of 82, 85, they can get dentures, I'm sorry, they had dentures and they can get implants, implants to support these permanent teeth so they can smile away. And yes, unfortunately, they're giving the wrong information by other dentists, but you know, we're here to help I mean, people. I mean, you, you were telling me in the green room that people actually tell you, I was told elsewhere, I couldn't do this. This just happened. This just happened last week. Someone came in again, and they were told they could not get implants. They came in once, I did a, a typical CAT scan on them, which we do every day, and what happens, they can get implants done without any kind of bone graft. They had enough bone, they just, they were just giving the wrong information. So they should really seek around for more information. And you could always work with people, like even if they don't, they have limited bone, you, you have bone building materials, things like that. You know, there's no reason why anybody should be walking around with a denture, a removable denture. You can always do an implant. There's always something that you can do to make their life better okay. with implants. All right, now, since you've been doing this more than 20 years, you say what used to take you like yeah. nine months or a year, now you could do it in like a few visits. What's changed? I mean, what, what, why is it so much faster now? You know, it's it's uh, it's it's a lot of things. Um, it comes with experience more than anything else. Uh, experience, education, you just never stop studying. And and once we get there, it's like tying your shoelace. You remember when you were five years old? It took you a half a minute to tie your okay. shoelace, and now you can do it in the dark. Okay. Same thing here. So because you've done thousands of these. thousands of implants are, are done and are full arches and and you know when you see thousands of patients smile away. It's, it's amazing what you could do there, but um, the digital aspect of, all, of it also. You know, 20 years ago, there, was not comp there were no computers doing this. Oh, they were, but they were doing it in highly sophisticated offices. Today, it's a standard of care. You say it's life-changing. 
<laughs> for every one of these people. Oh, yeah. It, it's definitely life-changing. Every one of these people come in, and like this gentleman here. Let's take a look. Yeah, take a look at this. This gentleman came here. He used to work at a mall. And what happens was that when he worked at the mall, everybody was eating, and he was having soup. So somebody suggested to him, you know, why don't you go to Mike Calderon and take a look and see what he could do. And uh, well, he came over and we went through a few, you know, treatment plans with him. But it ended up that he needed to get implants because he was on his way to get a denture. And at such so you a young think age, chances are he would have got a denture. He was going for a denture. He was treatment plant elsewhere for dentures. That's what he didn't want. So he preferred to walk around with his little eight teeth that he had left. Okay. So what we did was we gave him a smile within an afternoon. We worked on him. He was happy. He left. It was great. Let's take a look. Take a look at the smile. Wow. Yeah, that smile. He was. It changed his life. It changed his life, and it, he became part of the family. It's. It's funny. Once they come to the office, the, you know, the, the, the employees, the girls in the office. I don't want to say girls because we do have a gentleman that works for us also. Okay. So the staff, the staff, uh, they, you know, they they greet him like family. Everybody gets hugs, and, and it's just one big happy family. Thank God everybody's getting their implants done now. Randy, I need you to take a look at the inside. Oh wow. Just for a second, take a look at that. What happens there is people like this don't smile. So you don't because yeah, I never see this. You don't realize this it. They're common? covering it up. I, it's like a dirty T-shirt. You cover it with a shirt. Okay. <laughs> so you don't want to walk around that way. And the, unfortunately, they walk that way, and they don't smile. You don't realize it. They don't real. You don't realize that they're walking around that way. But until they come to the office and they finally get the the energy to come to us, uh, they get tired of walking around this way. So we're there to help them out. You know, when they see their teeth for the first time, it, it's like almost crying. Because they're just happy, the smile goes, when you have a natural smile, you have a smile like this, and you have a smile when you smile with your eyes. Okay. And that's what they get. They get the smile with the eyes. Once we get that, we know we got them. <laughs> Is that right? And, and, and do they tell you, like, eating stories? Like, you do know, the guys want to eat steaks, the women want to eat vegetables? I mean, what is it? You know, what's, what's happening is they don't realize, they don't realize what they're eating until they've been using it for a while. So, in other words, um, they're eating steak today, but six months ago, they didn't realize they couldn't eat it. So today okay. they're enjoying their steak, they're enjoying their apple, they're enjoying pizza. Pizza's the most common, because everybody goes for a slice of pizza. Because I guess if you're wearing a denture, you can't really chew or bite or pull a sandwich out of your mouth. I want you to imagine that. Just they're biting into a pizza and their denture's popping out. You know, they're not going to tell you this. They just go to the bathroom. But they tell you. Oh, of course. They give me the experience when they come to the office. That's when they tell me the experience. They're not going to tell me the pizza place. But, uh, you know, there was one time I remember somebody was laughing and uh, laughing out loud. And in a pizza place, because there's a pizza place right by my office, and what happens, it popped out on them. So I took, brought them into the office, and I educated them on the implants. And they got the permanent smile, you know, six months later, and they were done. Okay, I, I brought another picture here. Right. This is another great patient. You know, these pictures are something that, you know, I don't know how to explain it. This patient is another patient, fabulous patient. I bring these pictures to you like you... Like, like they're my own children. And what happens here is she came in, she was not feeling well, she, she was just not happy with her smile. So what we did with her is we, we educated her. We told her what she could do. The, the other thing was that she was going towards dentures. She didn't realize that, but she was already losing her, she lost her back teeth. She was going towards dentures. She was losing her front teeth now, okay? And now what happens is when, once we educated her, we restored her smile permanently. She walked around, she changed from being someone who was you know, thought life was going the wrong way, and today, uh, if you see this father Let's photograph, take a look. she looks like a movie star. Uh, okay? Yeah, she, wow. She looks like a movie star. You know, her father came in. That's the same person? The same person. Okay. Her father came in, thanked me afterwards. You know, we really had to help her out. They, you know, they just did not know what they could do. And once they're educated with permanent smiles, permanent implants, it was amazing. It was amazing. It's, to this day, I still talk to her. We, she comes to the office, all smiles, just looking fabulous. Okay, when you look at these pictures, look at the one beforehand. Mm -hmm. Okay, she's got flat teeth. They're worn out. Okay, and when you have flat teeth, our face tends to droop a little bit. And that's a, sh a sign of age. So if you look at the other, uh, the, the after smile, you know, this is all cosmetic dentistry. This is all about making the teeth look young again and making you look young. If you look young, you feel young. Okay. When you feel young, you just give that positive vibe to the whole world. It's wonderful. Got to show you one more picture, all okay? Right, all right. This woman over here, she's got to be in her upper 70s, okay? She came in, and she was given uh, treatment plans by others, and the final treatment plan was always a denture, a removable denture. When I looked at her, 
we were able to treatment plan her for implants and a permanent smile. Okay. So when she was done, you know, it was fabulous. Makeup on, lipstick, and to this day, she's a smiling way. 78-year-old woman, she realizes she's been walking around this way for 20, 25 years, and today she's smiling like like the sun shining every day. Is this one of those things where they say, I should have done this years ago? You know, that's what she, exactly what she said. That's exactly, she said, you know, for 25 years I've been walking around this way and I didn't realize I could change this just with a visit to the dentist. <laughs> what about pain? No, pain, they're sedated. Okay. So during sedation, they're not going to feel the procedure being done. And they're numbed up, obviously. They're numb, they're completely numb, and afterwards, obviously, they're going to have a little soreness like anything else. As I always say, it's like squeezing a pimple. Okay. okay. Yeah, a little achy afterwards, but sedation is what we do for them. And they can eat right away. They can eat right away, obviously, after the anesthesia is gone. They don't want them chewing on their lip by accident. <laughs> now, when they see their face, like a woman like this sees her face in that mirror in the office, yes. it's emotional to them. A, a, a lot of times, they start crying. They don't realize uh, what they could have done 20 years ago. And also, it was rejuvenating. You know, if you're 78 or 80, and all of a sudden you look like if you're in your 60s again, and you have a beautiful smile, it's, that's irreversible. You know, you just look at that, and it's just, it's just breathtaking. What about gums? What if you have uh, gum disease, bleeding gums, bad breath? Are the gums too bad to get this done? Uh, well, that's, that's like we mentioned before, that's the ideal patient. Because once we remove the pathologic teeth or the teeth that are ailing or you're going to lose, the bacteria that eats away at the teeth are gone. So once we place implants, they're completely healthy. And don't forget, uh, you know, the gums, when you have a gum infection, it affects your overall health. Once we get rid of the problem and we place implants, they're completely healthy. We only have a couple of minutes left, but uh, the two categories of patients, the patients with teeth that you can't save and so they need you know, a brand new set of teeth with implants, and then the denture wares. What are their options when it comes to dental implants? Well, when you have the denture wear come in, uh, you first get two implants in, that's what they look at for the new dentist, and when you get two implants in, you still have a denture. You're still wearing a denture, and it rocks in and out, you have to take it out at night. So you snap it, it in, snap it, it out. It snaps on, snaps off, okay? okay? It's still just two implants Sounds on good. a denture. Well, that's okay, but then they realize, you realize still when they're eating that salad that they can't chew. And when okay. they can't chew now, they go for another implant. So what happens now is they're not enjoying their food still. They still have a denture. So what we have to do is go towards getting the implants with the uh, permanent teeth. Okay. I want you also to realize, if you're wearing a full denture on top, and you have the full denture on top, your palate's covered. You know when you have peanut butter when you were a kid? Yeah. You, you put the peanut butter against your palate. That's how you taste it. That's how you taste chocolate. When you have a denture, it's covering that palate. Once we open that palate up and we give you a permanent smile with permanent teeth, you're just enjoying all your food. The next level up on implants or dentures, uh, after denture, I'm sorry, the next level up would be to place four, five implants, and we can get a whole arch of teeth there. A whole arch, permanent arch of teeth. So. Even though you're missing 12, 14 teeth, you don't have to get 14 implants or okay. four implants. Okay. You just get four implants on each arch, on each side, and you get permanent teeth there, and you have a full smile, a full complement of teeth. Totally happy. It's, and they can eat whatever they want. They can eat whatever they want. And like they're just hard, chewy themselves. things? They can eat hard, chewy things. I mean, we don't want to recommend eating, you know, uh, peanuts ice? or okay. ice. You know, you, won't, you, won't, you don't want to do that. But they can eat almonds and... Broccoli raw. They, they can eat a steak. And my favorite thing to keep on going back to is pizza. It's pizza. Everybody enjoys pizza. Who doesn't enjoy pizza? Yeah. Yeah, you have to be able to chew pizza. <laughs> do, they, do they ever call you worried, like, after you do it? And they say, Doc, are you sure I could start eating now? Or? Well, that's the first thing they ask before they even leave the office. What can I eat? I'm like, you can eat anything. Just don't chew on ice. <laughs> okay, uh, I have a great story here. Uh, it was a nurse. I'm going to call her Jolie, because I remember that was her first name. A wonderful woman. She had to be probably about 50, 52 years old who wore a denture. Uh, but she had the denture converted into a snap-on denture. So she was happy with that snap-on denture until about a year later she realized she had to get maintenance on it. And then she had to constantly maintain it. So when she came to us, we were able to place two more implants. Actually, it was three on her. When we did three more implants on her, she got a permanent smile, a full complement of teeth. She was very happy. A nurse, and she always told me she worked long hours, so she was constantly thirsty, but when she drank something with her denture, she still had her palate covered. Today, she's got permanent teeth, permanent smile, and she can enjoy her food. Is this the newest, like, hottest trend in dentistry? You know what? Like it's, now? It's, it's, it's hot because everybody's being educated on it. You know, today, people are, are more educated about their teeth, and they want that smile. They don't want to walk around with teeth in their pocket. Now, you, you made dentures in the old days, right? <laughs> 
I did make dentures. I did make dentures. So what if they're watching the show? What do you say to them as you far know, as coming back in? If you're watching this show, come back to the office because today we're placing implants. Uh, you don't need to wear those dentures anymore. It doesn't matter how old you are. You could be 90, you could be 80, 70, or 40, okay? Because we did have a patient who was 36 years old. Same thing. She had a denture and we made a permanent smile on her. And unfortunately, I won't mention her name, but she yeah. was 36 and she, she looked like if she was 60. You know, I thought she was 60 when she came in, but then afterwards uh, we realized that she just lost her teeth and she was wearing a denture that wore away her bone. And once we gave her a permanent smile, permanent teeth, she looks so much younger. And, and they just, how do they maintain them? The implants are maintained simply just with a six month checkup. They always have to brush as, as diligently as they did before. Uh, it's not like teeth though. You have to still come in and get it, you get your checkups, get cleanings, and they will last a long time. You say you they take smile more. They smile all the time. They, uh, they just love showing it. I guess it's because, you know, it's something that they paid for, they weren't born with. <laughs> they, you know, we were talking, joking over there, but like they become like uh, Insta models or Facebook selfies, yeah, irritating it, everybody with all the photos they take of themselves. It's amazing how, you know, the, the selfie and the internet, I mean, the internet, Instagram, all that's increased dramatically with, with, with uh, denture wearers. They don't wear the dentures because you can tell when somebody's wearing a denture. How can you tell? You can tell the, the, the gums look fake. A lot of things look fake. Uh, the lips look fake. Once you give them that permanent smile with uh, permanent implants and permanent teeth, everything looks so natural. And you can tell on the selfie. So they start taking photos. Do they sure. ever send you photos on your cell phone and I, say, look, you know doc? What? A lot of people are friends of mine on Instagram and on, on Facebook, a lot of my patients. And I like that because they can keep up with what I do and what, what they need and they can show their friends. And they do. They show all of their friends what we've done. We are out of time. Final message to the person they're either currently wearing a denture or they're headed to dentures and they don't want dentures. What do you say? But they're, but they're skeptical and maybe afraid. What do you say to them? You know, uh, in our office, we give free consultations. So you should come in, come in and give free consultations. And what happens is, you know, we'll let you know your options and we'll let you know. And everybody's a candidate for implants. You can always save that smile and you can get out of the, uh, the dentures and get into implants. That way you have that permanent smile, permanent, uh, permanent implants and there's nothing to hold you back. They get to meet you? They get to meet me, <laughs> my brother. My brother is also a dentist and uh, you know, we're family. So you'll see us both there and we'll give you your options. Now we have to mention, I guess, even the best dental insurance and we're short on time does not cover dental implants. And Medicare, Medicaid does not cover dental implants. So what's the uh, you know, answer? It, it's unfortunate. A lot of people don't realize uh, we have financing in the office. So you can pay for this. You can pay for this, you know, monthly uh, from our office with, with the financing. Now this is lenders. You're using uh, yeah, lenders. We use so you have to have okay credit to get this. Yeah, right? I'm sorry for interrupting you because I get all excited about this. Yeah. But yeah, no, yeah, yeah, you, can get, you have to have okay credit. Uh, you get these outside lenders to get these, uh, the financing done and you walk out with a smile. I mean, there's nothing, on a free consultation, you have nothing to lose. If you want to pay something, bring me a cup of coffee. That's always nice. I want to thank you for coming on the show. Great stuff. Yo, Randy, thank you so much. I want to shake your hand. All thank right. you so much, okay? Appreciate it. Thank you. You've been watching the Wellness Hour news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. For now, I wish you good health. Thanks for watching the Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news with your host, Randy Alvarez, the authority on health issues.